Hi, uh, hi. Uh, uh, today we shall be developing. We shall be developing a transmission channel. Transmission channel that we shall be developing today. A transmission channel, and we have three variables such as here. The variables are here consumption, GDP, and money supply. So we have three variables. One is the first term is the cons. Cons means con con consumption. That is our first variable. And the second variable we have GDP. GDP means gross domestic gross domestic product and the third variable we have MS what is MS money supply so we have these three variables and the variables are here you can see from here cons GDP and money supply okay what I can do I can make it zoom I can make it zoom so as a result you can see better so I make the zoom all the three variables right so the first one is the cons cons means consumption second one is the GDP gross domestic product and the third one is the money supply so so I have three variables and, and 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 from these variables my plan is to develop a transmission channel so today we shall develop a transmission channel using these three variables such as consumption GDP and money supply okay what I'm doing I'm uh, opening all the variables now I'm opening all the variables so I'm opening I open as a group so okay, these are the variables GDP consumption money supply and starting from 1960 until until 1990 so so that means uh, our variable from 1960 until 1990 okay okay and, and from here we shall develop transmission channel and and actually what is our objective our objective is what the the uh, our main objective is that money supply money supply that is MS MS uh, causes causes GDP and GDP causes consumption right So actually this one we want to check that money supply causes GDP and GDP causes consumption that is cons that is cons right meaning that meaning that money supply meaning that meaning that money supply causes GDP and GDP causes consumption so so the money supply causes consumption through GDP I am telling here here money supply causes 
consumption through GDP. That means what is the channel? Money supply causes consumption and the channel is GDP. So meaning that I am saying again money supply causes consumption through the channel GDP. So and that is called transmission channel. That is called transmission channel and we shall be developing this transmission channel that money supply causes consumption through GDP channel. Okay, so th that is our target of today. Okay, and here, okay, so so he, so he here we have we have some stepping. First, first, uh, first, uh, we shall develop the Johansen test of co-integration. So that is our first test. Johansen test of co-integration and secondly we shall develop a VAR model and thirdly we shall develop the channel right so we have we have three things first we develop the Johansen test and second we shall develop the VAR model and third we shall develop the transmission channel okay so first i do number one so number one is the johansen test that we do first right okay and and and, and, and the number one is johansen test johansen test but here johansen test here uh, there is one condition we can only run Johansen test when the variables such as consumption, GDP and money supply become stationary after first difference. Only then we can run Johansen test of co-integrations meaning that our three variables must become stationary after first difference that means all the three variables at level at level they are not stationary right meaning that meaning that they have unit root unit root but but when I convert all the variables into first difference then they will be stationary that we assume uh, so, uh, so so no no so so th that is the requirement of the Johansen test of co-integration so meaning that they are they, they are not stationary at level but when I convert them to first difference they will be stationary okay here we have three variables and we we assume that we just assume that all the three variables are are not stationary at level but when i convert all the variables into first difference they will become stationary that i just assume without testing okay so now i have the validity to run the 
Johansen test of co-integration and that I shall be doing now okay how I go to quick then I choose group statistics and I choose Johansen co-integration test okay now here I put all our variables first I write consumption then I write GDP and then money supply we have all these three variables right and these variables are not stationary they are at level and they are not stationary so then uh, okay what I do uh, I can make the zoom for you so that you can see better I make it zoom uh, all the three variables are here I put it here consumption GDP and money supply right okay okay then I press OK and, uh, and here you can see the lag okay suppose I I take 2 lag I choose 2 lag suppose lag selection criteria advise me to take 2 lags for this system equation so I take two lakhs because lack selection criteria has advised me to choose the two lakh for this system equation model and I shall be using always two lakh for this system equation model actually the, the Johnson test is a system a, a equation model VAR, VAR and VCM also system equation model and here I choose 3 because it is already given I choose 3 right then I press and here I choose lag 2 right 1 to lag 2 then I run I press ok here okay so you can see Johansen test of co-integration the result has come up right okay from here you can see uh, we have two tests one is uh, trace statistics and one is max IGN statistics both are here right okay and here you can see that we have three variables consumption GDP and money supply right okay so the first one okay suppose I choose this one number of co-integrated equation okay the first this is the null hypothesis it is the null hypothesis null meaning that none what is none meaning that there is no co-integration among the variables meaning that <coughs> meaning that there is no long run association ship among the three variables that is the null hypothesis and here you can see the p value so the, so the probability value how much you can see probability value is 35.5 52 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no quaint co-integrated there is no co-integration among three variables or three variables have no long run association ship <coughs> sorry A and the result of uh, trace test already indicate here trace test indicates no co-integration at 5% level meaning that variables are not 
co-integrated. Okay, then we check the second one, our second test, maximum uh, I, uh, max IGN statistics, right? Okay, what is here? So what is the null hypothesis? Number of uh, co-integrated, none. None means there is no co-integrated model here. That means variables are not co-integrated. Uh, so, so that is the null hypothesis. And what is the probability value? It is 33.35%, which is more than 5%. So meaning that we cannot reject our null hypothesis, meaning that variables are not co-integrated. So, so what is our decision? Uh, from the trace statistics, from from that from from this test, from this uh, trace statistics, uh, the outcome is variables are not co-integrated, and also from max IGN statistics, the outcome is variables are not co-integrated. Okay, and when the variables are not co-integrated, then when the variables are not co-integrated, then uh, just right here, uh, when the variables variables are not co-integrated, we we cannot run ve cm model rather we should run we should run unrestricted var and that we shall be doing now right so here we shall be developing unrestricted var and from that unrestricted var uh, we shall develop our channel that is whether money supply can cause uh, our variable that is called cons what is called cons consumption through the channel GDP that uh, we shall be doing now 